Yeah, you ain't seen my best. Checkmate in a game of chess. Beautiful and remarkable Globally. things to see, see when you look out the cupola. I guess got so far from, from me. Neck, huh? Uh, I like the the, uh, the waters, the shallow waters in the Caribbean or the atolls in south uh, east of Pacific, or south uh, east of Pacific. Are the 3D environment, the computer reads these algorithms and makes calculations in reference to the tracking points to create an environment that moves in perfect symmetry with the actors and the camera. Orad's pattern recognition tracking technology is undoubtedly the most cost-effective and simplest tracking system available. Based on proprietary algorithms developed by ORAD, the system extracts camera position, orientation, and field of view from the video signal itself. Therefore, installation and setup is extremely easy and quick. Similar in nature to barcode technology, ORAD's pattern recognition tracking system utilizes traditional blue or green screen chroma key techniques. By adding grid lines of a similar blue or green hue onto the backdrop, the system recognizes and processes the overlaid information by reading the video signal. However, these grid lines are unseen in the compositing stage during the chroma key process. The algorithms support multi-camera productions and require only a small portion of the grid to be visible by the system for sufficient tracking. The pattern recognition system is an ideal solution for small studios. I, I never pipe down if they weren't coming for me, then they definitely coming for me now. I can't even keep my phone charged up. All the shit I'm talking, I should get my home barred up. Rappers, get off of my dick and get your own bars up. Vladimir and Liz's breath got the clone scar, cuz whoop. Use your, use, use your common sense. Why is NASA part Department of Defense? They divided up the seas into 33 degrees. Feeding kids masonry, bro. Be careful what you read. Flatline, flatline. It's no superior bloodline. Flatline, flatline. You got me once, but that died. Ayy, voice, voice. Do I have a voice? Do I give a fuck? Do I have a choice? Joint, joint. I roll up a joint. Keep my shooters in the game like I hate to disappoint. I see only good things on the horizon. That's probably why the horizon is always rising. Indoctrinated in a cult called science. And graduated to a club full of liars. Heliocentrism, you were the sixth victim. Fuck you and your team, you can sit on the bench with them. They nervous. But before you try to curve it, do your research. Stalin was way worse than Hitler. That's why the POTUS gotta wear a kipper. I'm a man first for an artist. Did a lawyer look up Dr. Richard Sarder? Bounce! Flatline. You fooled us for the last time. Flatline. Flatline. There's no superior bloodline. Uh, I definitely haven't so mastered it. I'll give you a trial and I'll show you just how bad it is. It turns out sea level at the equator is farther away from the center of the Earth than sea level near the pole. That was great. Really, really, really Practice makes perfect. Give me another week. Earth. Let's see that again. Spins. Slow motion. Once a uh, day. Yes, thank you. Zero gravity, they're trying to say. That is not zero gravity. Orion is getting ready to launch.
My name is Kelly Smith, and I work on navigation and guidance for Orion. Orion is NASA's next generation spacecraft. Built with versatility in mind, it can take astronauts deeper into space than we've ever gone before, to an asteroid, or even onto Mars. For these missions, Orion has to be one tough spacecraft, withstanding high speeds, searing temperatures, and extreme radiation. Before we can send astronauts into space on Orion, we have to test all of its systems. And there's only one way to know if we got it right. Fly it in space. For Orion's first flight, no astronauts will be aboard. The spacecraft is loaded with sensors to record and measure all aspects of the flight in every detail. It all begins with launch aboard a Delta IV heavy rocket. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Katie Coleman told me about a conversation that she had with Sandra Bullock about what it's like to live in space, what it's like to move around in space. And one of the things she told her about was how little effort is required to move from one wall to the next in microgravity. She even told her that you could take a human hair and use it stretched out to push against a, a wall or a handrail. Um, and it takes really that little effort. So. I used to date your daddy. All you have to do is know. Resources. I thought I would give it a try. To destroy such a young and handsome face. I don't have it! Let me see your eyes. Son of Poseidon! Heads up. Brush. See how see how much better the brush makes my hair look? <laughs> I'm just joking. It still stands up straight. It doesn't matter where you are, it's always gonna stand up straight while you're up in space. A lot and of course it serves for two functions. Number two, right here. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim and you'd be, be, be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. And it smells a little bit, so I'm closing it up. And that's, of course, for number two. And this guy right here 
is for number one. So they're sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little essentially both by hanging on right here and doing number one and number two. I might add it's color coded so you really don't get it. It's nice. It's yellow for number one. It turns out the pear shapedness is bigger than the height of Mount Everest above sea level. Bounce. Flat line, food is for the last time. Flat line, flat line, is no superior blood. So when you met the new you, were you scared? Were you cold? Were you Abracadabra, Alakazam, NASA's run is over, give them a hand. Man. It's done, it's finished folks, everybody wrap it up in NASA, cause they've been exposed, this is the final straw, say bye to NASA. Cause they got caught using blue screen. So while George H.W. Bush was visiting a NASA center, some cameraman accidentally caught a glimpse of a screen. And on that screen was somebody in the ISS standing in front of a blue screen. Hmm. I thought blue screens were just for movies, not for things in real life. Right? So let's check this video out. Okay? Did you see? Did, are you seeing that? Those arrows? Let me just show you this again in slow motion. change your background hmm. but if it was all real why would you need to I don't know no clue so here's a side-by-side -side using the 
blue screen versus what they actually filmed. Obviously the same person, the same location. It's a joke. Same off-screen objects. So you know this is real. Floating in the ISS. And he turns the corner and goes into a little doorway. But, oh, oh, did you see that? I mean, did this, this nigga just went invisible. I mean, is he Violet from The Incredibles? He has superpowers that makes him go invisible? Hmm, unlikely. Is he an alien? He's a secret race that can go invisible? Is that what you're thinking? Crazy people. No, I think it's just video manipulation, right? That's what it is.